So, Dave, I guess building on on the back of that stance and and your dedication towards intentional networking and deep seated referrals, what inspired you to create the dance framework? So, the dance thing was purely about my love of music. I'm going to give a quick sh- shout out to a wonderful lady called Michelle Mills Porter um, because she heard me do one of my first talks on it, but it was disco originally. And she was like, have you thought about making it a broader appeal, right? And I was like, yeah, okay. And to be fair, some of the letters are the same. Although connection was in both, but means something slightly different in dance than it did in disco, actually. But it came from going, I had all this knowledge, but I wanted to be able to keep it contained in a structure that just made it easier for other people to wrap their head around as well. My background in membership and hearing speakers meant that I knew the power of people that had these frameworks and they immediately enabled people to en- to engage with that content a little bit more. And whilst partnerships and referrals are something that's the oldest form of kind of marketing and opportunity generation, and in my book, it, it's something fairly new in terms of people investing time and money and energy in developing the strategy for and so I wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to um, to engage with the work that I do and also to keep me in line, stop me going off on tangents whenever anyone asks me what I do and I can now very quickly go, here's the five things you need to kind of, here's the five things you need to look out for. So, yeah. On the back of that, kind of, obviously this podcast is about marketing, predominantly it's about marketing and I think a lot of business owners out there traditionally see marketing as being things like the website, your SEO, your pay-per-click, your digital media, mm-hmm. all of those things. 